Well, hi guys and girls, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. This weekend, um, I'm sort of getting dirty for art's sake, so I figure you might as well feel some of the pain as well. So I'm going to do a video about this. This is the Centec Mill. Poor thing. Actually, it's in pretty good nick. It's got, I, I've been sort of giving this a bit of a rub with the precision ground flat stones and a bit of a clean up. There's a, it's a fairly difficult thing to film because of the lack of light, which we're actually working on at the moment. I've got 12 volt light strips to go all round and I've put the I've wired them in I've just got to find a bit extra wire and a switch and stuff but we're getting very close to having that done we've also gone to the trouble there of putting the VFD up so we're getting close to having this back on where it needs to be so I can use it in videos and things now, these slides are all pretty good. It's not a big machine, as you can see. See, I thought that guy mowed the lawn yesterday. In fact, he did. He spent an hour doing it yesterday. Same guy. That's the next door neighbour. So one of life's little mysteries happening there. I just thought I'd like to know how good all these screws and nuts and things are and really there's not much wrong with that at all. I'd say we've got, we might have 5,000 difference in here. The big problem with this in 2019 is that it's an 8 TPI lead screw which means that one turn is 125 thousandths of an inch. Bit of a nuisance because you've got to, it makes it difficult to count, but that's all. But there's no real wear in that nut. And if we have a look at the next one up too, there's not much wear in that, I'll show you in a minute. Looking at this huge big slide, we'll turn this upside down on here and we'll give this a clean. It is pretty dirty. I don't reckon this has been apart for about 40 years. This is the the feed for the for the quick action. It's got a lot of grime on there. And this just locates it there. There's no real wear in that either. So, pretty happy about that. The Gibbs pretty solid. It feels like it's probably got, you can see a shiny spot along the top. I'm not sure if that's really any cause for concern. This gib feels really hard under the stone, so I don't reckon that's the bit that's worn. It'll be worn on the other side here and on the on the cast iron. And this can really only go in one place, one way. We'll slip this back on. and run some oil along it. Now this is just a preliminary investigation really. Clean everything can see how much better it is when everything's back together nice and clean before it gets a lot of use. because if I start making a list of things that need to be fixed and start fixing them when, I, when it's apart, it will never go back together. So it doesn't look like it's a huge job to...
to take it apart and put it back together. We're getting a little bit of wear out here on the end, which I was suspicious about because it gets a little bit tight out here on the end. However, don't use it out here a lot, and that's about the end of its travel anyway, so we might just be going to live with that for a little while. Uh, whether this actually gets re-scraped is probably not a big job because it's not a huge piece of equipment. It's not like we've got to lift a thousand kilograms around, you know. So we'll see. Hopefully find that a sweet spot where that actually fits up. I'd put gloves on, but touch screen on my camera no longer works and all those sort of things. This little dial here, uh, it's graduated to 125. I've given it a bit of a clean up. Really, I think at some point I'm going to make new ones. But it's a whole lot better than it was. Some nice satin finish wheels a little bit bigger than this one might be a really good thing on here and we've got a saddle lock there which seems to work it just locks the, the gib in against the wall Of course, that brings us to the main table. Which has a rack in it, which engages on the, the rapid reverse. Which I used a fair bit actually on this so far more than I thought. It's a fairly useful thing to be able to just have a lever feed. Back all this back off a bit. Slide this on. disengage that handle. We have this gizmo which is the half nut I guess um, you would call this half nut lever. That engages in the thread. It's a little bit worn, it's not too shabby really and has a, a stud on here or a bolt to to, um, to engage it and disengage it and another bolt to lock it. So this is probably the weak point of the whole milling machine, but it seems to work. So we're going to live with it a bit. So we'll see if we can get some light in here. It's getting dark quick. That might be better. So this is in place here, and that engages with the with the lead screw. Uh, it's got a gib here, and it's got three uh, three gib screws for this bottom gib here. That's not locked, but we'll lock that bolt down when we get it back in place, and I'm. It's got a couple of stops here uh, 
for mill table stops which is probably quite useful I think when you're using the the rapid traverse so let's put this back together and see how it all looks so there we go we're all back together a uh, bit of a job but everything works just stops are all the stops are all back on there don't know what these three plugs in here are for I'm gonna to have to have a bit of a look and just see if they're actually standard equipment uh, they're blind holes I uh, guess they're for mounting something on I'm not sure looks like a pretty useful thing if you if you had something to mount on a nice solid way to bolt something down so now I know they're just blind holes and don't actually hold any nuts or anything on the bottom of them I might actually use them a bit um, have a think about what I can actually mount on here it might be a very useful thing for mounting up a rotary table or something like that so all this is sort of back together I've got this disengaged here because I'm using this here it's all nice and clean a couple of jobs I think I need to do at some point I might get someone to we've got no light at all and I'm sorry about that that's the drill press light pointed over in this direction that might be a little bit better this has two plates with a a disc between them there's a little bit of backlash in here there's a little bit of movement I think um, probably I might get someone to grind those so that they fit again so they're not quite so worn might also put push in oilers in here on each end just to keep the dirt out that's something that I'll do fairly soon the collars missing off here um, which should be the same as the other one but I'm probably going to put a putty on here for a power feed so that's that's probably not quite as important as it used to be the table is three and three quarter by 12 inch a couple of cross slides in it and it's got these bolt holes here I don't know why but might be a really good thing for bolting down a rotary table or angle plate we'll have a think about that we've got a an angle plate to go on there but it's not quite long enough to go between those two holes or across those two holes so that might be a t-slot job hopefully that angle plate will go on there nicely this does go nicely in between them and in the right spot so I might use these as hold downs for this rather than keeping it over on this side or that side so it's in the centre that might be a good place to start with them unless someone else has got an idea what these might be for but anyway we've still got another cutter on here backwards which I'm going to take off because I couldn't find one spacer so the space is turned up I'll put that back on and take that cutter off but ideally we want a reversible motor so we can run a stub over and, a, and, a, and an end mill in this um, I'd like a system on this T-slot here I don't know if you can see that even there's a T-slot in here which goes down here with a little a little arm that sticks out across I'd like a system on here to put a, a dial indicator on here so I've got some sort of rudimentary DRO I don't think there's room to put a DRO on it but it's very useful when moving this up and down to have something to read it out on whether that's an option on these ones too uh, on this one and this one I'm not sure but anyway that's a quick look inside there thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks to all my new subscribers um, really appreciate wherever you've come from is an awesome thing you can do check out um, there's some updates on the tool making competition and the prize pool um, which are pretty exciting and there'll be a video up about that soon um, check out the competition if you're new here otherwise many thanks don't forget to like and subscribe and be kind to each other